What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about why Crisis Remastered wasn't delayed on the Nintendo Switch. Now, this just, be uh, I think to me, this becomes more and more interesting as the days go on with what's happened with this Crisis Remastered. So, I guess, full transparency, just to make sure we're all on the same page here. I'm a big Crisis guy. I'm a big Crisis fan. I want the best for this game. I really want a, a fully realized uh, Crisis Remastered. I want a, a Crisis, although it was made in 2007, and maybe like high NPCs can still do it now and still make it uh, semi-powerful now. Uh, I want a really good remaster right now. I want Crisis 2. I want Crisis 3 eventually. All these games, I want a multiplayer mode. So I'm a big Crisis fan, okay? I only want the best for this game. But what's happened with it has just been, I think, nothing short of a disaster. I think that's a very, very fair thing to say. Look, Crisis was obviously supposed to, the remaster was supposed to come out July 23rd on basically all consoles, all systems, right? They all were delayed, except for the Nintendo Switch. Now, technically, when they delayed it, th I believe Nintendo Switch was completely included. Nobody said anything about it. It was only until slightly later, I believe it was like last weekend, this past weekend, where they confirmed like, hey, no, just so we're all clear, Crisis Remastered is still coming out on the Switch. For those Switch players, you can still get this game on July 23rd. So, you know, I was contemplating making a video like this because I wasn't necessarily sure what angle I wanted to hit. So I, just, I decided I'm just going to hit it on all angles. First thing to talk about, is why wasn't it delayed on the Nintendo Switch? Well, to be honest with you, I think that answer is pretty darn easy. I don't want people calling me uh, mean names about it. So what I will say is I get it. I get why the Nintendo Switch version wasn't delayed. Ultimately, the Nintendo Switch is a phenomenal console. Okay, I, I own a Switch. I love the Switch to death. I love that they continue to get third-party games. Uh, it's still it's kind of sad that it takes like two, three, four years sometimes to get those games. But I'm honestly, I truly am happy when like Catherine, uh, when the Catherine like remastered game came to the switch i was all i was like my god thank you thank you because I, I love that game and again i just love the fact that the switch can be able to be uh, the problem with nintendo really for for a long long time has always been getting third party games their first party games are amazing they're very different than the first party games of sony or microsoft uh but they don't really get anything other than that right so that's always kind of been their problem and so i'm always happy when games are releasing on the nintendo switch so when these games do come out the bioshock collection Catherine, these are all games that actually have just come out over the last little while, over the last like month, month and a half. They don't run the best. They, they, I mean, ultimately, the Switch is powerful, but it's just nowhere near as powerful as the PS4 and Xbox One. That's just generally the, I mean, the way they've handled it. It's not meant. To, I'm not like criticizing them, by the way. It's not meant to be as powerful. It's definitely meant to be just a completely different system that you really use for a completely different reason than the PS4 and Xbox One. Okay, and then same thing. The next Nintendo console will probably be different from the series. X and PS5. But what I will say again is like Crisis Remastered is not going to run well on it. Okay, I mean it's going to look it's going to look good. It'll be it'll be solid. It may look maybe slightly better than the 2007 version. You could probably and I, by the way, I mean on consoles, probably not on PC. The PC version that pe like people could run back when the game came out uh, and they were able to kind of get the most out of the game. I don't think that's going to be replicated on the Nintendo Switch. Again, that's not an insult to Nintendo at all. That's just flat out not what the Switch does. That's not what it's meant to do. That's not the intent of it. So, again, I guess I understand why the game can still come out on the Switch. What I will say, though, is while I understand it, and while, I mean, I guess it's cool that Switch players get to play Crisis before anybody. In fact, that's kind of a, a cool thing to gloat about. It just continues to not make this look good. This literal, I mean, what we have here with the Crisis Remastered. Uh, it just doesn't look great. Because, again, the, the problem was that it just doesn't look all that much improved from the original. I mean, yeah, it, it does look improved a little bit, but not all that much. So when they delayed it, in fact, even I've talked about it on this channel, on the, on the on podcast now, will it actually help? Will it actually work? Because if you give this game a month, two months, can you actually fix deep down the issues of this game? My thoughts? You can't. I really don't think the problem with this game that people are most upset about can be fixed with like a few months delay or a few weeks delay. I don't think it's going to work. And again, I think this kind of just doesn't look all that. Now, you can, I mean, you, if you disagree, that's completely cool. I have nothing against you because again ultimately if you're a switch fan or if you have a switch even like maybe even a bit, it's tough because like i really don't 
feel like I want to get it on the Nintendo Switch. In fact, that actually may be a thing. We can talk about that right now. That is actually an extra layer. Like, depends on why you're getting it for the Switch. You could be getting it to be able to play it on the go. Obviously, that's a really big reason. That's a really big feature of the Nintendo Switch. But, like, I want the best for like crisis i want the best looking mainly because it's remastered if it maybe if it wasn't remastered i wouldn't care as much but because it's remastered i want to see it realized the most in 2020 that it possibly can be and i feel like the place you're going to get that most well firstly i think the place you're going to get that most is on pc but my pc is not going to be able to do that so next we move on to the consoles right and when you look at the consoles i think ps4 and xbox one are going to be the next best bet of getting like the best product you can get nintendo switch i think we all know without being mean to it without like putting it down i think it's just not i think it's going to be the weakest of all the versions right of any version of crisis remaster i think the switch will be the weakest one Again, with that being said, you can play it on the go, it's smaller screen, maybe people like that. I mean, whatever your reasoning may be for the Nintendo Switch is kind of cool. You could, Like I said, you can gloat that you're able to play this game uh, before anybody else. But if you're Crytek, if you're the company making this game, I feel like you should have just delayed all of them. Even though you probably wouldn't have touched the Nintendo Switch version at all. Maybe you could lie. Maybe you just don't even have to tell us that you're putting in, in the extra work as the Switch. I feel like maybe just to push all of them to maybe keep the belief going that you're trying to improve them. You know what I mean? I can definitely see both sides where it's like if they feel they can really improve the console versions which is probably the version that they are most worried that people are going to be upset about if they feel like they can really actually improve that and then they look at the switch version and they say you know what it's maxed out in fact we optimized it for and which is actually could be the problem you know companies when they look at when they make games on consoles okay when uh, companies make games on consoles they optimize it to the worst one so they they raise they they, they bring it up on the bar to to that first console, and that's it. Uh, normally, first-party games, so games that are exclusive, they're able to kind of really find the inner workings of the console, make games look really, really good that otherwise, you know, other games wouldn't be able to do. Maybe that's why. Maybe they made the game for the Switch, and they were like, okay, that's where we're going to level out all the other versions, but with the reception, they were like, okay, well, we can actually do more on these other consoles if we're given time. The Switch, though, the Switch, we, we've done all we can. Like, this is literally as good as it's going to look on the Switch. So, so it's conflicting. I get it. I get why it's not delayed because ultimately it may be maxed out. There may literally not be anything they could do on the Switch, whereas on the other consoles, there's probably absolutely things they can continue to work on. I just think as a whole, it doesn't look that great where it's you have this come out, but you were just delaying the other versions because people were telling you that it's not a good enough improvement. But now you're going to put out the Switch version and the Switch version probably isn't going to be all that great in terms of how it, I mean, it's going to be a good game because Crisis is a good game. But, like, how it runs, how it looks, it may not be the best game. You know what I mean? So, that is that going to look bad? Is that going to make Crytek look bad? I feel like it could. I honestly feel like it could. We'll have to see. Ultimately, I, and this is a good question for you guys, are you going to get it on the Switch? Who's actually going to be getting this game on the Nintendo Switch on July 23rd? Let me know. If you guys are getting it, let me know. If you guys are waiting for the console version, if you guys are waiting for the PC version, let me know your thoughts, as always, in the comments below. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up. And I make a new video on this channel every single day as we get more stuff of Crisis Remastered, I'll definitely continue to make videos. Maybe we'll talk about the Switch version when it's actually out. Go from there, okay? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.